calcified lesions with high resistance, tortuosity, and angulation are among the most complex and challenging lesions in PCI. A meta-analysis from the Horizons AMI and Acuity study suggests that moderate to severe calcified lesions can be found in approximately one-third of patients. The diagnosis of calcified lesions relies primarily on imaging methods. The common clinical methods of identification and evaluation include angiography, CTA, IWERS, and OCT, among which OCT, with its fast imaging speed, high resolution, and ability to assess the thickness of calcified lesions, has become an important tool for calcified lesion evaluation with its unparalleled advantages. In 2018, Fujino's team proposed the OCT-based technique of calcified lesion score for predicting stent expansion after PCI, and the results of the study suggested that a higher risk of incomplete stent expansion existed when the maximum calcification angle was greater than 180 degrees, the maximum thickness was greater than 0.5 millimeters, and the maximum length was greater than 5 millimeters, i.e., a calcification score of 4. Currently, this scoring method is widely used, however, when faced with a large amount of image data, the manual marking of calcification is slow and the scoring results are biased. To address this clinical pain point, VivaLite designed the Intelligent Calcium Assessment function, which combines OCT with AI technology to automatically identify calcification through its morphological a priori intelligent perception model algorithm, highly improving the efficiency of assessment. Check the calcified plaque indicator. The system automatically identifies the calcification and marks it in the cross-sectional and long-axis views to facilitate quick location of the calcified lesion. Select calcification score from the menu bar and the system displays the calcification score results. If the flushing effect of the blood vessels is not good and the intelligent calcification score is inaccurate, the system provides a manual mode to manually recalculate the calcification score. Step 1. Slide the long axis control line to locate the frame with the maximum calcification angle. On the OCT cross-sectional image, click on one end of the calcification plaque, the center point of the catheter, and the other end of the calcification plaque in sequence. The system will automatically calculate the maximum calcification angle and gives a score. Step 2. Click on the maximum calcification thickness on the cross-section. And the system automatically calculates the maximum calcification thickness and gives a score. Step 3. Slide the long axis control line to find the continuous calcification segment that includes the maximum calcification angle and maximum calcification thickness. Click on the starting and ending points of the calcification segment on the long axis. And the system automatically calculates the length of the calcification and gives a score. Click Next to get the final calcification score result. In a single-center retrospective study of 100 sets of calcified lesion OCT data from the second affiliated hospital of Harbin Medical University to train and validate the accuracy of the ICA technique, the results of the study suggested that the ICA technique was highly accurate in identifying calcified plaques, with strong correlation between calcification score and calcification volume and quantitative assessment by a clinical expert panel, and reduced the calcification assessment time, which traditionally takes approximately 100 minutes to 12 seconds. Currently, the Fujino calcification score system has some limitations. It does not consider the original size of the lumen, cannot reflect the proportion of calcified plaques to the lumen, and the information on calcification angle and thickness only comes from a single-frame OCT image, which lacks a comprehensive evaluation of calcification distribution. These problems result in the Fujino score being insufficient in evaluating the severity of calcified lesions and their adverse effects on stent expansion in clinical practice. To address these issues, Diva Light Medical and Tongdu Hospital of Air Force Military Medical University collaborated to explore new predictors of stent expansion failure and proposed calcification volume as a novel predictor. Check the calcified plaque indicator. The system automatically calculates the volume of calcification in the reference section. 
In a retrospective study at Tondu Hospital of Air Force Military Medical University, 47 patients underwent OCT-guided PCI, a minimum stent expansion rate of less than 80% in the target calcified lesion was defined as stent expansion failure. The higher the calcification volume, the worse the stent expansion. According to the receiver operating characteristic curve, the optimal threshold for predicting stent expansion failure based on calcification volume was 4.37. The results showed that calcification volume through 3D quantitative analysis of calcified lesions can accurately predict the occurrence of stent expansion failure events, and this novel predictor has clinical value for promotion. ICA technology, which correctly identifies and evaluates calcified lesions, helps physicians choose more appropriate PCI strategy, improves the success rate of procedure, reduces complications, and improves patient prognosis, leading the way for accurate treatment of calcified lesions.